in part one, the first thing that we're going to do is to calculate for the probability that we are going to be getting one rectangle. So for this, out of 11 circles, we will choose all 11 circles, but out of 17 rectangles, we will choose one so that we can have a total of 12 shapes. And this is going to be divided by 28, 11 plus 17. We have a total of 28 shapes. Choose any of the 12 shapes. And the probability for this is 5.5881 times 10 to the power of minus 7. Next, let's calculate for the probability when we are getting two rectangles. So for this, it is out of 11, we are going to choose 10 circles. And out of 17 rectangles, we're going to choose two rectangles so that I can have a total of 10 plus 2, 12 shapes again, divided by 28, choose 12. And this is equal to 4.9175 times 10 to the power of minus 5, which is a number that is obviously bigger than this. So from my calculation here, now I can conclude that the probability that I'm going to be getting one rectangle is less than the probability that we are going to be getting two rectangles. And now we're working with 17 plus R number of rectangles. And the first thing that we should try to do is to calculate for the probability that we are getting four rectangles. So that will be out of 11 circles, we will choose eight circles. And out of 17 plus R number of rectangles, we will choose four. So that I can still have a total of 12 shapes divided by the total number of shapes, 11 plus 17 plus R, that is 28 plus R. And out of this, I'm going to choose 12 shapes. I'm also going to quote the probability that we are getting three rectangles. So it is out of 11 circles. Now we are going to choose nine. And out of 17 plus R number of rectangles, we are going to be choosing three. And this is going to be divided by 28 plus R, choose 12. And according to the question, probability that r is equal to 4 is now equal to 15 times of the probability that r is equal to 3. So probability that r is equal to 4 is 11 choose 8. 17 plus r choose 4 divided by 28 plus r choose 12. And this is equal to 15 of 11 choose 9. 17 plus r choose 3 this is going to be divided by also a 28 plus r choose 12 so they share a common denominator it will be cancelled off pressing calculator for 11 choose 8 that is going to give me a 165 and i have a 17 plus r choose 4 15 multiplied by 11 choose 9 gives me a 825 and I will be having this side as a 17 plus R choose 3. 825 divided by 165 is 5. As for 17 plus R choose 4 and 17 plus R choose 3, I'm going to make use of this formula that is in my formula sheet and that formula says that for N choose R, this is equal to N factorial divided by R factorial n minus r factorial. I'm going to make use of this to apply here, to apply here. So that will be 17 plus r factorial divided by 4 factorial and then 17 plus r minus 4 factorial. Similarly for this, it is going to be 17 plus r factorial divided by 3 factorial and then a 17 plus r minus 3 factorial. So the numerator is the same. I'm going to be cancelling it again. And 4 factorial, 3 factorial. If I were to multiply throughout by 3 factorial, I will be left with a 4 in the denominator. This is 17 minus 4. We have a 13 plus r factorial. And this is 5 divided by multiplying this by 3 factorial, 3 factorial will disappear. And the denominator will be 14 plus r factorial. 
And for factorial notation, I'm going to be making use of the fact that n factorial is equal to n times of n minus 1 factorial. And I'll be applying it to this. So 14 plus r factorial can be rewritten as 14 plus r multiplied by 14 plus r minus 1, which is 13 plus r factorial. So this is 1 over 4 times of 13 plus r factorial. So 13 plus r factorial, 13 plus r factorial, they can be cancelled. And if I were to cross multiply, I will have a 14 plus r is equal to 20, which helps me to work out the value of r to be equal to 6.